they're interviewing uh, uh, a number of individuals, all members of the ministry support team, yep. key leaders yep. uh, in the diocese, yes. uh, from around the diocese, one-on-one -on -one conversations with yes. you, confidential conversations yes. in which you're listening deeply to what they have to say. You'll also be um, having a, a day a morning conversation some, with the clergy of the groups. diocese, yes. some groups of the clergy in yes. September, a uh, group uh, into which we've invited the wardens and treasurers of yes. the diocese to come. Uh, uh, lots so, of conversations. So there's lots of conversations going to come up, but so but you're not just going to have conversations. You're going to bring forward some recommendations, some conclusions. You're going to try to draw out some suggestions for us about things that we might want to think about that will 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 change for us. Yes, you know, I I, I this is a different approach from perhaps running, I'll say, a survey to dry, to generate statistical data. From a statistically significant group, is it ah well, twenty percent of the people say this. I, what I'm trying to do in this process is listen. What I hope to be is influenced by the, why what I hear, and on the basis of what I hear, come back and have some conversations with you about. Well, uh, this is what I believe I have heard accurately from some faithful people in in Vermont. I hope that dialogue with you will allow me to say, and on the basis of what I hear, these are the things that I think you, you ought to look at carefully. Maybe even these are some recommendations that I think you ought to entertain. And, I, and I, I'll say qualify it a bit, only to the extent that um, all of these conversations over a period of maybe four or five months uh, won't make me an expert on Vermont. And I understand that. I acknowledge that. But I think the value is bringing an outside perspective right. that will allow me to suggest some things that maybe are based on what I hear in this place, but also to draw on either professional and or other experiences in other dioceses. And I hope to be able to do that. For example, uh, one of the things that um, I've already started to do is look at the data that I can have accumulated in terms of just the raw statistics about the Episcopal Church in Vermont and compare those with some other dioceses. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have some unique characteristics here that make the kind of deployment of people appropriate for you. And other places, and, and an example I might draw on is there, for example, in the Diocese of Rhode Island, there are two Hispanic missionaries large, very large population of uh, immigrants in, in Rhode Island, which makes Spanish-speaking missionaries a very important part. I don't know that that's the same um, population makeup that you have here. So uh, drawing on what I see there will allow me to say, at least for them, that's a unique need. What they are for you, I'll need to understand. So I want to be able to do those kind of analysis. I'd like to look at diocese is a comparable number of churches, a comparable number of communicants, and what they have done in terms of the deployment of staff and structure, and use that as maybe a yardstick against which to say, well, for good and sufficient reasons, that's the way they've approached it. Maybe there's something in that approach that we ought to consider. In so it's that kind of analysis. So you're going to be doing these conversations while I'm on sabbatical? Yes. Uh, and yeah. then when I come back from sabbatical, we're going to sit down and... Uh, maybe with some other key leaders, look yes. at, at what you've uh, learned and yes. heard and yep. the fruit of those conversations. And uh, then our plan is to take that information and, and put it together in such a way that we can bring it back to the, to the grassroots uh, through yes. some town meetings uh, throughout Vermont in the mission yep. districts uh, where we can say, here's what we've been hearing and here's what we're thinking. Yep. Give us some response to that. We'll take that response back and then call that a little bit more, uh, work with that, and, and hopefully draw some final recommendations for moving forward that we'll bring to Dawson Council, and then ultimately will be part of the celebration we are, we're going to have in June of 2015 that'll sort of bring this year of discernment uh, uh, full circle. Yeah. Um, so that's, 
that's where we're going with all this. That's a good summary. And, uh, and you've said something that's very key for me is I've, I've traveled around New England. That is, there's a tradition of town meetings here where people, everyone has an opportunity to express an opinion. And I think it's a very important piece of, of what you have, have outlined in terms of how we ought to approach this. Generate the data, reflect with you, but then give others an opportunity to react to that mm -hmm. so that there's a, an opportunity for ownership as well as input. And hopefully yeah. the, the spirit will be at work in all of that and uh, we'll get some clear discernment about direction yes. that together as a diocese, as the Episcopal Church in Vermont, we can embrace and, yep. and feel confident about our becoming more missional and uh, living out our, our call to serve God's mission in the world. It's a good plan, I think. We're delighted to have you with us, Del, for this. Look forward to the journey. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay. My pleasure. Yeah.